I'm Sir Tap Tap. I used to be a little bit of a YouTube apologist. See, YouTube's had their troubles. Everyone likes to complain about any new design or whatever they're doing. But uh, they've always treated me decently. I've always been pretty annoyed at their content ID stuff, but hey, it meant there were less copyright strikes and all in all things seemed to be getting better and better. So I just kind of always gave them the benefit of the doubt. Uh, that kind of has to end now. So if you haven't been following this Alex Maurer crap, she's a horrible, disgusting human being. Uh, um, she's too stupid to read her contract. She's an alleged music artist. Um, she had a contract with uh, Imigo Softworks. She didn't read her contract. She had some health issues. She couldn't do her work, so she terminated her contract. She didn't get paid for the weeks that she didn't work, which, you know, that tends to happen. Um, and due to her contract, it's a standard work for hire contract. You can Google that. It's, it's a standard thing. Um, it basically means that uh, during the whole process of the work, since she's being paid to make the work, the copyright is exclusively owned by the company, not by her. At no point is the copyright hers. And this is normal stuff. This is how this is how every creative medium works, pretty much. Either you're indie and you own your own stuff, or you work for, you know, a AAA or whatever, and, you know, somebody else owns your stuff because they're paying you to make it, and they can't really, you know... Imagine if you could put out a movie, and your CGI artist has full rights to that movie. And at any point in time, they could say, nah, I don't want that movie to be shown anymore. You wouldn't pay, you couldn't pay that person to do that. You couldn't pay somebody that would just, could just screw you over at any time. But that's what Alex Maurer wants to be. She wants to be the person who can screw you over at any time. So how this, how does this relate to me? I'm not related to freaking Imigo Softworks. Well, Instead of suing Imigo Softworks because she knew that she didn't have a case, she decided to illegally DMCA claim a bunch of videos. Um, I believe it's over a hundred different channels have been affected, or at least a hundred different videos. There was initially 70, and then she went after a bunch of River City uh, Ransom Underground videos, and then she went after Death Road to Canada trailer and a Duck Game trailer. Then she went after a video that used a picture of her. Then she went after a video uh, that used a picture of her birth certificate that she sent as what she called a quote-unquote press release. When you release something to the press, that means you want them to post it. That means you give them explicit cop like uh, permission to post it. You can't DMC claim that. But I thought this whole thing was over with because, like you saw last week, I posted a video and said, Oh, my DMCA claims are released. Um, everything's good. So what happened? Well... Alex Maurer refiled. So basically YouTube discovered that she was abusing it and they said, okay, you can either prove it for real or you can retract all your stuff or we'll ban your account. So she retracted everything and she pretended she was doing it. She said, oh, I'm doing this to stop the bullies. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Feel sorry for me. Oh, yes. And then like an hour later, she said, well, the bullying didn't stop. I waited for nearly three minutes. Mm, I'm angry. I'm Alex Maurer. I'm going to send a bunch more DMCA claims. And then she sent a bunch more DMCA claims to the same videos. And I thought, you know, I had a laugh because the way it's supposed to work is I filed my counter notification. My video was back because the counter notification was successful. And the way it's supposed to work is either she has to sue me, which she can't because she's an idiot. She doesn't have any money and she's a pathetic shell of a human being. Um... But, uh, sorry, got lost, lost my train of thought. Anyway, the point is, she is not supposed to be able to do anything to my video without proving that she's suing me, which she can't, and she isn't, and she didn't. But, for some reason, she was allowed to refile with the same email address, and don't be like, oh my gosh, her privacy. She's been, e she's been posting her own email address on Twitter constantly. It's, uh... Well, for pretty much any artist, your uh, your your label email is going to be public um, anyway. But um, it's the same email. It's the same. It's the same video. It's the same content she complained about, and YouTube allowed this. So that's why I'm done with streaming on YouTube. YouTube, if this happened on Twitch, you, Twitch does like a 24-hour ban on your first strike, and I could deal with that. Um, YouTube is basically a 14-day minimum. Um, because yeah, they have to have 10 business days to do the counter notification. And um, it's a 90 day ban if you don't contest it, which I did. Which by the way, to contest it, I had to give my real address 
to an insane person who has been th sending death threats to other YouTubers and sent me an email with her hand on, where, no, there wasn't a hand, but she had it impaled a kitchen knife in a box of Wheaties into a man's face on the box. She sent that to Leonard French, the lawyer that is suing her, and she forwarded it to me. I didn't post about that image because it would seem to only be sent to me, and the situation seemed to be calming down. Um, and a lot of people bailed on this topic and thought, oh, it's, it's calmed down, we don't need to post anything about this. It's back and it's not going to go away. Because what she's going to do is she's going to retract this, the claim before she gets banned. Then she's going to file everything again. And she could just keep my streaming ability down forever like this. Because she could just take it back and refile it every 14 days. And apparently YouTube's copyright office doesn't give a shit. They're just going to keep letting her do it. So, I'm going to stream on Twitch. I, I, like I said in the first video on this thing, I just moved over to YouTube so I could focus on one channel. I didn't like Mixer. It wasn't working out. People just... Getting people to move on Mixer just is like pulling teeth while hurting cats. Um, Twitch, I didn't like their affiliate thing because it means I couldn't post my streams on other sites within uh, 24 hours of the stream date. So I'd have to upload my VODs um, over a day later and uh, I couldn't multi-stream. And you know, I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to cut out YouTube. But now I have to cut out YouTube anyway because I can't trust this crap. Um, I can't trust a company that's just going to let the same person constantly harass me and um, send DMCA strikes over and over on the same video. And this, this disables my streaming, by the way. Um, because this was a live stream, even though it was a stream over a year ago, even though she doesn't have the rights, even though she's committing perjury, even though this is harassment, even though YouTube already told her to piss off and they apparently don't remember it, uh, this disables my ability to stream for 14 to 90 days. And she can keep doing it indefinitely. Th they're not going to stop it. So I'm going to stream on Twitch. That's really all I can do. I can't do anything about this. I tried contacting YouTube countless times. Um, they're supposed to contact within one business day. I do qualify for email support for all it's worth. Um, they have this business team system where if you meet some amount of watch time per day, you can get email support. Otherwise, you're screwed. Uh, I do qualify for it. They just don't answer my emails. Um, it's just ridiculous. So, like I said, streaming on Twitch. SirTapTap at uh, twitch.tv slash SirTapTap. That's my thing. You'll actually get stream notifications on Twitch, unlike YouTube. I didn't want to do the platform split thing, but I have to. I just have to. And I guess I may as well go for Twitch affiliate while I'm at it, because it doesn't matter anymore. I can't stream to YouTube, so the 24-hour clause doesn't even matter to me anymore. You know, I just upload my VODs a little bit late. Who cares? Um, YouTube gaming, I really wanted to believe it as a platform. I really wanted Twitch to have some healthy competition. I was a little bit biased for it. I was a little bit of a YouTube fanboy. I can't be anymore. It's, this is unacceptable. YouTube gaming is simply not an acceptable site while they allow this to happen. Um, as for what you can do to help, make some noise. Um, don't harass Maurer. Maurer is just not even worth your time. Don't even look in her direction. She is filth. She's scum. Um, don't waste your breath on her. Let Kotaku know to cover this crap. Um, Total Biscuit ran off after she was uh, involuntarily committed. Uh, but she was released, and it's really clear this isn't a mental health issue. Um, mental health doesn't make you do this. Um, a lot of idiots are trying to make this a trans issue. It's not. I have a couple dozen, I know a couple dozen developers that are trans. None of them do this. I know, I actually know at least two trans musicians that are not Alex Maurer. Both of them are great people. Much love to them. Um... <laughs> They're not, they don't do any of the things Alex Maurer does because it's not a trans thing. It's not a mental illness thing. It's not a being a victim thing. It's not a legal thing. It's an Alex Maurer is a criminal and a scam artist. Um, also, somebody in my first video said that, oh, I shouldn't call her fraud because that's, you know, that's uh, libel and blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, it's not. Uh, even, even that same day, uh, Leonard French called her a fraud on, <laughs> on a public live stream and he's a lawyer, so... Yeah, you can say that. She's, she is a criminal, so it's fine to say. She's even so much of a criminal, she's currently on probation for petty theft and uh, receiving stolen property. So uh, that just shows her amazing moral fiber. Anyway, I tried to keep that less angry than... That was, trust me, that was infinitely less angry than my first take. I might seem angry 
first take. First take tap tap is not, that is not somebody I want you to ever meet. That's not somebody I ever want to meet. I can be angry. I don't like being angry. I don't ever want to be angry. That's why this whole thing, I, <sighs> never mind. Streams on Twitch, um, at your favorites, mention your favorite um, news site or whatever on Twitter. Ask them to cover this because like, I don't even care if they don't even mention Alex Maurer's disgusting name. Um, they need to cover this issue that YouTube is allowing something to refile infinite DMCA claims against the same videos for the same reason. And even though they're illegal and they've been successfully counter notified, they just let them go right back up. Anybody could do this. Anybody could file for any video in the goddamn world while YouTube is allowing this and just take down anything. And as long as they retract and refile, apparently they can do this forever. And you can also immediately get anybody's real legal address just by abusing the system as well. So until somebody goes to jail for this or YouTube changes their system, I don't see this getting fixed. And her court date is like the 21st or 29th or something. It's gonna be a while and Leonard's filing for an injunction to stop her. But here's the thing, even if the court case settles this, that she doesn't have the copyright, that doesn't change anything. She doesn't have the copyright now. She's already acting illegally. So what's a civil case gonna do? She's still gonna keep breaking the law. Uh, she frankly needs to be in jail immediately. Uh, she's just gonna keep trying to destroy everyone around her. Her own family even disowned her, by the way. I, this is not something that I would usually bring up, but she freaking straight up emailed me. Like I said, she emails creepy stuff. She emailed me an image of her with a knife at her throat. She emailed me an image of that same knife stabbing a man's face on a box of Wheaties. She emailed, um, she emailed multiple death threats to Sid Alpha. She emailed at least one to Leonard French. I think a couple to Leonard French. She's a lawyer and all this. Really hope both of them keep safe. I have not gotten a direct death threat, but she's obviously directly harassing me. She mentioned on Twitter that she had filed this one against me and uh, Jupiter, who uh, who was extremely nice to her this entire time. Jupiter, you know, I can see hating me because you know I, you know I posted about this whole thing. I obviously took sides because it was justified. Jupiter like kind of backed off and was trying to be all neutral, which I personally don't agree with at all. Um, but you could not ask for a nicer person than Jupiter to cover this whole thing. And she lashed out specifically at her, and that's just disgusting. Like, whatever. But yeah, I, the problem here is Total Biscuit backed off. Kotaku and all the others, they're not covering this. Um, Tech Dirt did do one article on it. But this crap needs to be covered. YouTube needs to change this. Needs, this needs to raise a stink. Like I said, don't bother adding Alex Maurer. Don't bother emailing her. Don't send death threats. Don't be transphobic. I will ban anybody being transphobic in my comments, by the way. That's part of why ugh, like, I, I don't buy that Alex is a victim for one second, but there are some crappy gator game types that uh, post a bunch of idiotic crap. I did have to ban somebody in my comments on the first video. It's why I've been a little bit reluctant to post more videos on this. Plus, I just hate drama. Can you tell that I hate drama? I don't know if you could tell that yet. But... Ugh, yeah, I, this isn't going anywhere unless YouTube knows this is a big deal or YouTube feels pressure from outside stuff. And like, this is much more of a big deal than Nintendo taking down their own stuff. Like, that's that's already bad. Like, Nintendo and like Capcom striking down that fan thing. At least Capcom actually owned that content. Alex Maurer doesn't own shit. Alex Maurer is an idiot who didn't read her contract and just wants to destroy the entire goddamn world because she's an asshole. And that, that's her only justification, being an asshole. She's just a troll that wants to hurt everybody but herself. And she has absolutely nothing better to do with her time. <sighs> anyway. See everybody on Twitch. Um, I'm gonna stream probably some Slime Rancher tomorrow. Maybe LSD. Um, maybe LSD on Wednesday. Um, I'm going to stream some more Horizon Zero Dawn, Ultra Hard, New Game Plus. I'm going to stream some more shoot 'em ups some more weird indie games, some more Yumi Nikki style stuff. Uh, if you follow my channel, you know what I'll stream. But uh, if that sounds good to you, follow me on Twitch. I'm really sorry that you have to follow me on multiple places. I know it's stupid, but hey, YouTube is no longer an acceptable place to live stream. I, I simply refuse to live stream to YouTube ever again until this gets fixed. And I'm guessing I'm going to tell them to take their sponsorship beta and shove it. 
because I, this is completely unusable. They're allowing somebody to harass me into not being able to stream ever. And they're just giving infinite DMCA re-ups. I, I can't believe this, frankly. So a lot of people thought that this issue was over with. I thought this issue was over with, but it's not. And we need to make some noise. I'm sorry. T tell Kotaku to cover this. Tell IGN, whoever your favorite gaming news site is. Um, I just keep saying Kotaku because I actually emailed Kotak tips at Kotaku or whatever their tip line is about this. And I'm a little salty because I never actually published anything about it. I gave them a primo tip the first day this whole crap started. Uh, they haven't said anything about it. And like I said, I don't even care if they don't mention Alex by name and they want to like keep it off of that. The thing is YouTube is allowing people to send infinite DMCA claims on the same thing that they don't legally own. Like They could just call her a musician or something. This is this is not going to go away if we just pretend that it's not happening. It's not. Anyway, I guess I may as well go for Twitch affiliate while I'm at it because being uh, being on YouTube 24 hours later isn't really a big deal anymore. So see you on Twitch. Ugh. This was supposed to be a short video. I I tried to keep the ranty down, but it happened. Sorry. <laughs>